got this house set down. Uh, I did not get the camera rolling while we were putting it down, but it is on the blocks now. Um, so I was actually wrong and remembered that I did have a time-lapse video of us blocking and leveling this half of this double wide and setting it down. I guess since I hit pause, we've gone under, we've lag bolted. I'll show some of those screws, but we've lag bolted it. Uh, we got some guys underneath putting some water line in. You can see some insulation there and some of that water line. Um, they'll be doing sewer and skirting at some point too, just like the rest of these houses. Uh, these are some of the lag bolts that we're using under the house to tie the bottom of the double wides together. Um, this one was pretty finicky. We had to pick it up and wiggle it around two or three times before we could get it just perfect front to back because you want those those sides to line up just perfect. <clears throat> Show you what I mean. You just want this seam to be pretty perfect or as best as you can get it. Um, same for there on the back side. And then uh, we're on the roof getting the ridge cap on they've got the ridge vent so yeah this house is well on its way to being finished and that's all in the course of just a few hours really um they got siding on that one up there since i hit pause and they're starting on this one here and now over uh on this side we're pouring some some concrete they get the pump truck. Looks like they're on their third lot of four. Oh, and he did get all those holes done, which is awesome. Yeah, one, two, here's their third lot. This is El Jefe Grande, the big boss. What are we, what are we doing, big boss? Oh, uh, we are uh, the concrete. Okay. So we're pouring the piers, filling them up. It takes about a half yard of concrete to do them at this depth. concrete are we ordering today? Uh, maybe about 88 yards. Okay. How long is that going to take to pour? Uh, we'll dump 88 yards in about an hour and the finishing will end up about an hour behind that. Nice. Because of the pump truck? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Huge difference. You can't get the truck in here anyway between the lots. So we'd, uh, we'd end up pouring one side and then drilling the other. It'd be very inefficient. Yeah. So, be, yeah. This is much faster with the pump truck. Yeah, we always used to bring in the trucks next to some of these lots. You can see there's more material here. Um, so it's kind of hard to get the trucks between and you can't reach all the way across both of these lots with it. Versus we set up one pump truck and reach all four of them from one spot. One spot. If, it, if the pads were more elevated on a more level ground, we elevated them more, we could slope this off the sides and we have more room to feather this out or get rid of the material. In that case, we probably would back the trucks in and not use the pump truck. Sir. Nice. Back. How do you like the pump truck? How do you like the pump truck? Don't work too hard. Don't work too hard. All right, we're gonna grab the drone, put it up in the air. Pretty windy today. I don't know how well it's gonna go, but hey, we gotta try with all this going on. It's too much good footage not to. Got another 
their truck coming in. Yeah, 90 yards in an hour. They're gonna have about nine trucks here within this hour. So I wanted to get over here before they get too far and I miss all the, all the fun. All right, here we go. How's it going? Do you need another hand? Huh? Yeah. Should I go get a trowel? Yeah. Or am I gonna find one over there? We gotta have these nice and smooth. Yeah. Or sitting concrete block on, nice and flat, yep. Any dish, any ridges. And you set those block on here and then you put a whole house on those block. And they crack right in half. No, they're not that weak. <laughs> And we put 52 of them under the house, so it's a shared load. Muy bien, muy bien. It's pretty easy to get the gist of the concrete thing. We pour the concrete, we finish the piers. We did this for about four lots, and then we went to set another double wide. Thanks for tuning into our channel. As I mentioned in the first video, we have dozens more of these homes to install. So we will be following this project from barren land to an entire community. Again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.